Pauline Hanson's team in the Senate is in disarray tonight as a feud with a renegade team member gets further and further out of hand. She's threatening to cut all ties with Rod Cullerton and he's replied by telling her to stop talking. As Paul Bongiorno reports, an explosive showdown now seems inevitable. Senator Rod Cullerton flew into Canberra late afternoon. His eligibility to remain a senator in serious doubt. His future with One Nation, no matter what the High Court decides, also at risk. If he cannot or doesn't want to, you know, work with us as a team, united and strong, then I will actually be looking at his future in his association with One Nation. Their last meeting, the last straw. And to have uh, you put up his hand and say, stop, stop, otherwise, you know, I'm out of here. Senator Cullerton, unrepentant. Have you found me uncontrollable and arrogant? So do you dispute those? That well, do you, have you found me like that? No. I respect anyone. But there was plenty of respect for Ms Hanson from entrepreneur Dick Smith. Now, I'm not joining One Nation anyway. I'm just saying that I support her immigration policy because it's spot on. Except, he says, it's not spot on wanting to ban Muslims. They agree to differ. I still state that we need to actually put a halt to any further Muslim immigration into Australia. She says Mr Smith's support adds to her credibility. It won't add to her party's coffers. Yeah, I decided over a decade ago that I'd just donate my money to charity. Pauline Hanson isn't the only leader struggling with party unity. Malcolm Turnbull is facing backbench rumblings over carbon pricing. This, I think, is one of the dumbest things I've heard in politics in recent times. There are many distinguished members of the coalition parties who have supported a carbon tax over the past, I've never done. A none too subtle swipe at Tony Abbott. Paul Bongiorno, 10 Eyewitness News.